Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike. Welcome to my health talk by Doc Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel and also my Facebook page. And to all our viewers, followers, and subscribers, this is Dr. Mike and I'm here based in Hong Kong. Another topic that we will be discussing today all about symptoms of high blood pressure. Perhaps one of you, one of our viewers, or perhaps your relatives, your family members have been suffering regarding this condition high blood pressure or what we call hypertension. So this would be our topic for today, the symptoms of this heart condition or in terms of your pressure, what is this high blood pressure or hypertension? So if you are new here, I am Dr. Mike. Please don't forget to follow us if you're uh, on our YouTube uh, or a Facebook page, and you could always be a subscriber as well on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you miss our previous episode, you can go back, check the previous videos. We've done a lot of uh, health and wellness episodes from different systems, different diseases, health and wellness uh, episodes. And I think... Uh, most of you may like them so that you could have some knowledge and educate yourself about health education, health promotion, health awareness. Before we move to our discussion for today about the symptoms of high blood pressure, please do watch this. Again, I'm back to all the viewers, followers, and subscribers, and friends. Thank you for joining me for uh, every day or every night that we'll be having some episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. I know some of our OFWs are watching right now. Some of them are still eating or some of you have been taking a shower. But thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate uh, of joining me every time that... We're having an episode. So again, our discussion will focus on the symptoms of high blood pressure. Perhaps, as I have mentioned, some of you may be suffering the, this condition, but what are the symptoms? Remember, not all patients, not all clients may experience the symptoms because recently I've seen some, or I've read some news, some of our OFWs have been diagnosed to have elevated blood pressure. So this would be our my discussion for tonight. Okay, when we talk about the symptoms of high blood pressure, did you know that it is also the same as hypertension? High blood pressure, also called hypertension, is normal blood pressure that is higher than normal. But the question is, how do you know uh, that, no, is, that the normal blood pressure is normal, right? But again, high blood pressure or hypertension is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause health problems such as heart disease. So again, for the viewers watching tonight or watching today, depends on your time zone. And uh, this is uh, the same as hypertension. So if your blood pressure... I guess some of you have been um, monitoring their blood pressure. If it goes above the normal, you might be labeled as high blood pressure. But the question is, how high is high? How normal is normal? So that's the question that most of our viewers might be asking. Okay. So high blood pressure, as I have mentioned, is a disease in which the blood that would flow on your uh, Blood vessels through your blood vessels, such as the arteries, at a higher than normal pressure. Okay, so I hope some of our viewers watching, they have a BP monitoring device or sphygmomanometer. 
in measuring this because blood pressure is this determine both the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries the blood the more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries the higher your blood pressure a blood pressure reading is given in millimeters of mercury or mmhg and it has two numbers Remember, when you um, monitor your blood pressure, there's such thing as uh, diastolic over diastolic. There's a higher number and a lower number. So what is this uh, diastolic, systolic numbers? The top number is what we call systolic pressure. The first or the upper number measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. The lower or the bottom number is what we call diastolic pressure. The second or lower number measures the pressure in your arteries between beats. So that uh, explains the blood pressure of an individual, the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure. Did you know that nearly one-third of people have who have high blood pressure don't know it? So there are times that people are unaware that they have blood pressure, uh, elevated blood pressure. So be very careful because uh, you don't feel any symptoms. But in reality, if you measure your blood pressure using a device like a sphygmo manometer, it is elevated. So be careful about that because nearly one-third of our population who have high blood pressure, they don't know at all. That's because high blood pressure doesn't have any symptoms unless it's very severe. So you don't have any symptoms, but when you take a reading of your blood, your blood pressure is elevated. Not all patients would experience symptoms unless otherwise it's severe. So to all the viewers out there, please do monitor your blood pressure. Okay, moving on. This is the criteria for blood pressure. Normal is less than 120 systolic. That's the upper number. And the over should be less than one or less than 80. So in technicality, if your blood pressure is 120 over 80, it should be below that, then it's normal. So less than 120 over 80, it's considered normal blood pressure. And if it is above 120 to 129, less than 80, it is elevated. Okay, if your systolic is higher than 120 to 129, less than 80 diastolic, then it's considered elevated. You are labeled high blood pressure, hypertension stage 1 if your blood pressure systolic is 130 to 139 over 80 to 89 diastolic. So if you are uh, stage 2, high blood pressure, hypertension. Stage 2, uh, your systolic blood pressure is 140 or higher. And the diastolic is 90 or higher. And you are having hypertensive crisis if your blood pressure is higher than 180 over higher than 120. So I repeat for all those viewers watching, if your blood pressure is less than 120 over 80, it's considered normal. If it is higher than that, it's elevated. And then we have stage 1 hypertension. If it's 120 to 139 over 80 over to 89, diastolic blood pressure. Stage 2, 140 or above, 90 diastolic or higher or above, and you are having hypertensive crisis if it's higher than 180 over 120 or higher. So again, so that's the normal. At least for the viewers watching today, you are aware of what is normal blood pressure and what is elevated blood pressure because it's important for us to know 
uh, if the blood pressure or our blood pressure is higher or lower based on the baseline level given to all of you. But anyway, since we're focused on the symptoms of high blood pressure, the following are the symptoms of severe high blood pressure. As I have mentioned, some patients would not experience any symptoms unless it's severe. Some patient may experience severe headache, nosebleed, fatigue or confusion, vision problems. These are some of the symptoms of patients suffering from severe high blood pressure. Some other symptoms would be chest pain, difficulty of breathing, irregular heartbeat, blood in the urine, pounding in your chest, neck, or ears. If you are experiencing this, these are symptoms of severe high blood pressure. Remember that not all patients would experience uh, symptoms of high blood pressure unless otherwise it's severe. So if you have any of these symptoms, see your doctors immediately. You could be having a hypertensive crisis that would lead to heart attack or stroke. And again, for some of our viewers, and most of the time, high blood pressure doesn't cause headache or nosebleed. So not at all patients would not have any symptoms. But this can happen in hypertensive crisis when the blood pressure is above 180 over 120. So viewers out there, if you have any symptoms of this, you need to see doctors immediately. You could be having hypertensive crisis that would lead to stroke or a heart attack. Okay, if you have blood pressure, which is extremely high, and you have the symptoms, as a tip for the viewers watching, okay, please do take a rest for five minutes and do recheck. And do not panic if in one reading you have elevated blood pressure, you have the symptoms, if it is extremely high, and with the accompanying symptoms that I have mentioned, please take a rest for five minutes and recheck again your blood pressure. And if your blood pressure is still high, unusually high, remember it's a medical emergency, okay? If after succeeding readings, after you take a rest, after five minutes or 10 minutes, you uh, record your blood pressure again, and if it is elevated and it doesn't go down, as I have mentioned about the parameters of different stages of blood pressure or hypertension, then it is considered as a medical emergency, okay, if it is severely high. So the best way to know if your blood pressure is, if it is high, is through a regular checkup. So for the viewers watching, listening in this discussion, please Monitor your blood pressure at home or every time you visit your doctors or clinics or any center. This is especially important if you have a close relative who has high blood pressure. Remember, untreated hypertension or high blood pressure can lead to serious diseases including stroke, heart disease, kidney failure, and eye problems. So once again, this is Dr. Mike, uh, based in Hong Kong. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching in this episode about the symptoms of high blood pressure. Please don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page, Health Talk by Dr. Mike, and also on our YouTube channel. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you think that this episode, if this episode is useful, please do share to your friends so that they would be aware about the symptoms of elevated or high blood pressure. Once again, thank you so much to all the viewers, to all our followers in our Facebook page, and all the viewers on our YouTube channel subscribers, viewers, and friends, and also to our health supporters. If you would like to be one of our health supporters, just click that link below. You could see that one, become a supporter, and uh, so that we could help more of our 
OFWs and all our friends, uh, our uh, hardworking domestic workers, particularly here in Hong Kong. So once again, this is Dr. Mike. Hope to see you again in our next live episode. See you, bye. To all the viewers, stay healthy, stay happy, and be nice to all. Have a great day, everyone.